time in here recently because I really like my Too Faced makeup. Hi! Hi! I did that like Dan. <laughs> Hi! My name is Dan. Welcome to the good shit. Not in camera if I do what I usually do. I am out of character. I don't know what to do with this stuff. You're giving it away. It's not like they read the title of the video or anything. What we are doing today is, it may sound echoey, the lighting is shit because we're in my bathroom, but. We're working on that. We have a lighted mirror coming that mm -hmm. should get. That should help. We are going to do our makeup on camera. I don't know how this is going to go. This is go. why we both look really rough light right now is because usually. I went to work like this because I was beautiful today. You put on BB cream. There's no way you didn't. You always do. No, I didn't. Okay. This is how I went to work. Well, anyway, <laughs> I look really rough because my face hates me right now because apparently being pregnant fucks your skin over. Yeah, that's the thing. You didn't know that? No, I've never been pregnant before. Thank you. Really, I have. Oh, really? <laughs> Learn something new every day. Four times. It's no, no, good. No, no, no. You, you have to, like, you have to catch it in the light and see if it reflects. Or you can put it on your freaking face. And see if your face glows. All right, so because this is going to take for fucking ever, we are going to go ahead and get started. She does makeup differently than I do. I am ad addicted to um, what Jenna Marbles calls beautubers. Um, I like watching makeup tutorials a lot. And I have been doing things a lot like they do, meaning I have the stuffs and I've been learning how to use the stuffs. So I'm going to do my makeup. She's going to do her makeup. Anyway, she's going to teach me. Probably well, she knows how to bit. do makeup. She just does it differently than I do. So we're both going to do our makeup um, as best we can. And uh, I hope this is entertaining. I'm going to start with my beauty blender. And I'm going to get it wet. I'm going to take my beauty blender. Mine looks different, but I have one too. <laughs> Since we're just sharing <laughs> everything. This whole video is going to be... Mine's different, but I have one too. God, your water is so cold. It's a well! <laughs> Not going to scream the whole time, I promise. I am in love with this. Here, I'll, I'll do the thing. What do they do? They go like this. <laughs> this yeah. is Advanced Real Moisture. It's literally Korean foundation. And it works so well. And it makes your skin stay kind of like dewy. And it doesn't dry it out. Okay. What am I doing? Oh, look at this. Hundred minutes. Oh my god, you guys. I have to prime. I was so busy wetting my beauty blender. Okay. So I also use... Here, I'm gonna do this every time. I'm gonna be such a YouTuber. YouTuber. Hey, this is the J1 Jelly Pack. It's also Korean. It works really well. It makes your face super sticky so everything I use stays on. Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer because I like how it feels. And then we start the foundation. I also normally do this right handed. I don't know why I'm doing it left handed right now because it's really throwing me off. She has pressure from being <laughs> on camera. And you just kind of blot your face into place. So that you look like a human and not like you're sunburned. Okay. Oh, also a human. I guess humans are sunburned too. And she's probably going to get on to me because I don't think I do concealer right. But like I said, I'm doing my makeup how I normally do it in the morning. She does concealer first. Which you can do, but it works better if you don't. Um, then I also use Stay Don't Stray by Benefit for my eyeshadow and concealer. I don't know if it helps, but that's what I use. Flippin' no. Oh, this is me so cringy. I'm sorry. You're just you're doing it with your fingers. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's primer. That's primer? Yeah. Why are you putting primer on now? Well, I just put on the... It's... Look. It's to make your eyeshadow stay put. Yeah, you put that on after your foundation. But okay. Well, wouldn't you put it on with the rest of your primer? Uh, no. I'm not yelling. I'm teaching! Wow. Next. Pressure, man, pressure. Oh, I thought you were gonna play the pregnant card again. No. I heard the pr and I was like, don't even. Tarte, shape tape. I do not buy into the drama. I'm still using it. Um, there isn't any drama with the concealer. <laughs> I am going to go in with my NARS concealer that Kat bought me because I didn't want to spend $30. Also, this applicator is amazing. So if you are that's what everybody questioning says. it, it's cool. Fun fact, uh, NARS is one of the only brands with a concealer light enough for me. This is literally Chantilly. It's just like, here, have some fucking lace. Wow, that looks really weird in a camera. I don't like that. <laughs> Back. 
don't know. Really Nail foundation. So also tart. I use the tart Amazonian Amazonian clay full <laughs> coverage foundation because before I got pregnant I had really oily skin and somehow this keeps it from not being oily. Anywhere you put concealer, you need to put setting powder. And if you have oily skin, it's good to set your whole face, but I definitely do not have oily skin and my cake my makeup kind of like even if it's good makeup, it does not go well and it kind of like cakes and gets gross. And so I do not do that. But if you have oily skin, you should. I have this lovely Tarte Smooth Operator. I love this stuff, it's amazing. I don't use a ton of it, but I definitely set under my eyes so that my concealer does not crease because that seriously matters. Like if you want to look stupid, don't set your concealer. But if you want to be smart, I've never actually had issues with my concealer creasing. It's your eye shape. So. Because this is NARS and it still creases. I look tired all the time, but at least my face isn't sunken in to look like I'm half dead. Just Where kidding. if I ever look like, you know who, we're gonna have issues and I'll probably have Botox. Like who? I don't know who. Gail. Oh. Gail. <laughs> I don't think it's that bad with her. It bothers me though. Roughly how old is Gail? She is... You don't know Gail? 50. You don't want to know Gail? She's 50. You don't need to know Gail. Do you like my brush? It's a unicorn. I do really like her brushes. They're pretty. This I found at TJ Maxx because the Tarte ones, they don't sell anymore. Because Kat has all the Tarte ones that came out that kind of looked like this. And I use this for powder on the rest of my face um, because the Tarte ones aren't sold anymore. Because I really don't like putting foundation down my neck, but I always feel like my skin tone's different. I use the Tarte Amazonian Clay. They all proof. say Amazonian Clay. Are you catching on? <laughs> Shush! I use bronzer on my neck and my chest so that it sort of matches the skin tone on my face. Because even though my foundation is like a perfect match for my face, your neck is always different, like that's normal. Yeah. And it bothers me, so I even it out with bronzer. I am very new to actually doing my brows. Um, I have very uneven, like look, okay, so this one is so much lower than this one, it drives me crazy, and I don't do anything to them, they're just that way, on their own. So I have taken to doing my brows lately, because you're supposed to. So my issue is that this one is shorter than the other one. This one is perfect, I can't make this one match. In mm -hmm. James Charles's Sing My Makeup Routine, he sang about pencil or pomade. That's the truth. You have to use one of them or else you'll look stupid. I'm just kidding. I'm I sure you're pencil. beautiful without it. I am not good at pencil. Pomade makes me not have to work as hard. I literally just use e.l.f. brow pomade and it works really well and it has surprised me and has stayed on all day. So I do contouring next. I'm still learning this one so it may look, I mean I may put it on dumb. I have no idea. But I use the Too Faced Coco Contour Palette thing. Now that one looks kind of fleekish. I need to do the other one. We're gonna look so good at the end of this and then have to go to bed. I'm gonna take it all off. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and put on my blush simply because I can. The blush I use also came in an Ipsy bag. It's called Balm Springs Long Wearing Blush. How's that? Is that relatively similar? Yeah, I think so. Brows are sisters, not twins. Then I have the Pixie Brow Gel. You can't see that whatsoever, but it's fine. And this is something Kat made me get because it was done in collaboration with Aspen and she really likes Aspen. I have no idea what my highlighter is. Aspen Obard, I never said her last name. It also came in my Ipsy bag. I think it was either Tarte or Too Faced. What, that? That was Urban Decay, I have the same one. Oh, is it? Yep. Never mind. Brow gel is very necessary. If you do your brows, you have to wear brow gel or else I'm going to hurt you. I'm going to do all of my eyeshadow with one brush because she's not taught me how to use my new eyeshadow brushes yet. You don't have to be taught, okay? It's instinct! I don't even <laughs> know what I do. It's literally not instinct. I literally, I have one eyeshadow brush I mean, that's a good one if you're only gonna have one. But it's It from Ulta. By Ulta. That's it! <laughs> I get yeah. it. I have Urban Decay eyeshadow primer and I'm going to slather that on my lids. Best eyeshadow ever. 
in my opinion. This is my Huda Beauty baby palette. It's kind of pricey for being so small, but everything is so pigmented and beautiful and I just, I'm kind of in love with this and I love it a lot. It kind of is like a miniature Anastasia Beverly Hills modern renaissance. It's kind of like a baby one of those, which Kat has and I'm very jealous of and I want, but I don't just have $40 lying around, so I can't just get it, you know? I'm not creative and I am totally used the same eyeshadow look that came with my Sweet Peach palette since the day I bought it. Are you, are you serious? Does it look like I'm lying? <gasps> wow. Just, just so y'all can see what she sees, if you can see the indentations and like the total of uh, one, two, three, technically three colors. The fourth doesn't actually go with this set. I just really like green because it looks good on me. So that's the one that I use when I'm feeling adventurous. Do what I look like, that. Nikki? That actually looks really cool. <laughs> if I tried to do that, it'd be all over my fucking face. It blends like butter. It goes on so pigmented, you have to be super careful. But like, in a good way, you know? So my issue is that I end up going way too far out half the time. And um, then it looks like I'm trying to go stand on a street corner. Is it a tasteful street corner? No, it's it's a hot mess. I think that I just woke up drunk street corner. Okay, you don't have to guess whether you woke up drunk. All right, <laughs> did you or did you not? But yeah, so spoiler for you, but a good spoiler, and we already told you it was coming. Next chapter that we're posting is Aaron's birthday. It's just about finished, so you should get that hopefully by the weekend. And um, yeah, so I think I did a decent job for never having been drunk. Now we're gonna switch brushes, as you do. And I'm gonna take this one, which is a Luxie brush. 249, not that I pay attention or care. And I'm going to dip into, oh, I did use this color. Now I'm gonna dip into this color. And I'm going to put that on the inner corner. And I did not do a cut crease because I'm lazy, but you can still kind of see the transition of colors. And I'm also gonna put this hella bright gold right in the middle. So when I do my eyebrows, because I've actually lost my really good Benefit pencil that is the same color as my eyebrows, um, I now use my cosplay pencil from e.l.f as um, I've been corrected. So for those of you that remember the Levi cosplay video, this is Levi's eyebrows. This teeny little elf brush, which is a really nice, it's like a little bullet brush. It's a really good shape. And I'm going to load it up with that gold color. And I'm gonna go right in the middle. Sunset on my face. Technically, when I'm getting ready for work, I use the Benefit Ready Set Brow to keep the color on my eyebrows, but I'm not putting that on since I'm getting ready to just take it all off after we're done recording this video. Time to blend! This is how it makes you not look like a scary person. <laughs> so now what I usually do is I use the Tarte um, Smooth Operator. Just Tell give me that. a hunter funeral whenever I die. Ew, no. Why? I don't like the smell of burning flesh. It's better than the smell of other things. Like what? Oh, I don't know, like rotting flesh? And I am gonna add a tiny bit of the transition color, this lovely light one, just here to help kind of highlight my brow bone and blend that just a little bit more. Okay, so I take that back. I actually have started using one of these brushes because I was experimenting. So we're gonna experiment some more. Experimenting is sinful. If you get fallout from your eyeshadow under your eyes, take a clean, this is mildly clean, take a clean like buffer brush or something and just brush it away. Don't ever rub it with your fingers or else the devil will come and attack you in your sleep. Okay, so now that we're done with that, we are going to take this <laughs> really hella dark color and we are going to smudge it and blow it out under the lower lash line. So normally I go for really bright lipstick, but because I really like my new Too Faced Angel Tears lipstick, it is fantastic. So if you guys notice, it kind of looks like it's two different colors. That is because when you purchase it, um, so it's really neat, it's heat activated. So it's like a white pale pearl color. And then once it actually touches your skin, it changes to like a coral color, but it's super shimmery and it's really cool. I'm gonna take my white eyeliner pencil and where's my beauty blender? Hold down your face with your beauty blender so you don't screw everything up and just trace your lower waterline. Why? Because it makes your eyes look fucking enormous. I use the Benefit Bad Gal Lash. It is my favorite mascara and the only mascara that does not make my eyes burn. Tattoo liner is the best thing that exists on planet Earth and I have brown and black and brown is what I'm going to use. I'm gonna do like a baby wing, just a little baby one. Oh, while she's talking about eyeliner because I totally forgot to tell you, I think, what I put on. I use Stila, the all day wear 
waterproof. I am a really bright colored eyeliner person. Um, I was kind of disappointed by Stila's colored eyeliner, but Sephora's little waterproof liquid eyeliner is the bomb. It goes on really well and really pigmented and it will stay all day. The cat wants to join the makeup party. We're gonna move on to ba -ba -da -da, fake lashes. Your lighting makes me look orange in pictures. We will take good pictures. I'm sorry about the lighting. I know it sucks, but we don't really have an option right now. I think we both have the same brand. I think we both have Eyelure. And as long as they look like brand new, except I have a different style than she does according to her. Mine are the lengthening. I think yours are the volumizing. Okay, open them. Step one. All right, we're gonna put some glue on the lash. And you have to wait like 30 seconds for it to get like super tacky. Do these only go on the top lash? Yes. Okay. Unless you want to dress and drag. Not, no, not, not really. Not, not today. today. <laughs> not today. Not today. No, no, no. I'm trying to get the bullshit out of the package. It's called eyelash glue. They renamed it a while ago because bullshit sounded a little bit too <laughs> crass for some people. Even <laughs> like it's going to explode. Oh God, lay the glue right, lay it right. Okay, my glue is about ready. So I'm going to put one on and then I will work with her. I got glue on my finger. That's okay, it doesn't actually hurt you. It shouldn't be running anywhere. <laughs> it sprouted legs and ran off, y'all. I don't know what I'm doing. Do you want me to do it? Yes! Oh god. Okay, open your eye. Not like too much. Her eye shape is really different than mine. Let me just, you know, say that real quick. And like where mine, these lashes fit really well. Her eyes are kind of like wider. I can <laughs> see it, it bothers me. <laughs> she can see? the lashes it <laughs> bothers her <laughs> all right i'm gonna go ahead and apply my second lash that does like actually look pretty decent though i'm not sure that i was trying to make her look like a troll darn it eyeliner helps guys <laughs> i'm gonna do contour anastasia beverly hills contour kit for the really pale it's actually light to medium but it's code for pale people i feel like i have feathers glued to my face you do but they're fake feathers. I don't speak badly. After I put on my contour so that it doesn't look super scary, I take a buffer brush. Mine has sparkles in it. I got it from TJ Maxx and it works really well and it wasn't expensive. And I buff all that in. When you are contouring, um, it's good to do a number three. So you go around here, here, and then down under your chin on either side of your face. I'm basically just quoting my YouTubers to you guys. Um, I did skip a step though, and she caught it, <laughs> um, which is you need to put on mascara. I use Better Than Sex. She does not like Better Than Sex, because apparently she doesn't think it's better than sex. And I blend my real lashes with my fake ones. <sighs> Guess she's done. And on my lower lashes, I use different mascara. I use this one because it is waterproof and it does a good job of separating out my lower lashes so there is no fallout during the day. Eyelashes are hard, but don't let them scare you because they help you be a better, more beautiful person. Now I'm going to blushify. And I am using my absolute favorite blush, which is Tarte. This is Parte. And you get it for free on your birthday at Sephora. <laughs> and this is a Lisa Frank brush. I got in my Ipsy, which she thinks sucks, but you're not supposed to use super tight packed brushes for blush. It's like 7.38, okay, it's faster bedtime. I am pregnant. I'm sorry. I thought you were pregnant. What? Okay, so this is my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in Sugar Glow, because I am pale. It's beautiful. It's bigger than I thought it was in your pictures. My favorite shade is this one. This is so Starburst. Said, and then this is my second favorite. This is Butterscotch. This one's a little too like yellowy for me. And then this one's a little bit too pinky for me. So I mainly use these bottom two. If I want to look more golden or if I want to look more like pinky whitey. So you take my Morphe M501 and I'm going to go into Starburst. And then you do a little bit above your brows on your brow bone. And then you take your pinky because I don't have a tiny brush and you put a little bit just on the end of your nose so that when it catches the light, it looks really good. And then you go up your nose. I'm gonna take an eyeshadow brush, I'm gonna dip into that exact same highlighter and highlight my inner corners. Then you highlight your cupid's bow. It is time for lips. 
Then I'm gonna go in with this Anastasia Beverly Hills lip, liquid lipstick, sorry, in the shade Catnip. So if y'all have seen the video on Facebook where it's like, there's two types of ways to get ready in the morning. Um, there's Grace's way, and then there's, I put on powder, eyeliner, eyeshadow when I go out the door after putting on deodorant. You don't put on mascara? Not usually. As far as setting spray, I use Urban Decay All Nighter. All right. So, that is everything. And now that we look good, I also use All Nighter. And super important when you are using setting spray, which this took me a long time to actually like figure out and do. Use more than two to four squirts like they tell you. And do this until it's dry. That is it. Like and I said, I normally wear a lot darker lipstick. I just have new lipstick and I like how shimmery it is. So that is, I don't do this, all of this every day. I do like half of it probably. Like I don't contour and I don't do blush a lot. And I don't usually do a whole lot of eyeshadow. And if I do, it's like natural colors. Like I've got my little baby chocolate bar palette, which I got for free. <laughs> but I also- I for free. Spent a shit ton of money. And then I have semi-sweet chocolate bar. Like I'll use one of those. I'll use the, Peach palette or what the heck is that? This? This? This! Hang on, this hang is on. So cute. Hang on. This is the best palette to exist on planet Earth. If you have blue eyes, this shit is like golden. It's perfect. It's so pretty and it's pigmented and it blends so well. And it's not sold anymore, so I'm really sorry. But maybe they'll bring it back. This is what she was freaking out about. This is the Clover palette. It's so cute. Oh my god, it's my colors. <laughs> um, I got it for Christmas from my parents. Here, here. Thank you. I will, I will show you um, guys. This is my favorite palette. This is not super pigmented, I will tell you, and there is a lot of fallout. But it is very pretty if you do it right. You just have to be patient. This one is actually pigmented really well. I just don't know how to use colors. So that is about it for the video today. We kind of just talked about makeup and just like talked a lot and did makeup. But I hope that was somewhat interesting. New chapter should be up very soon. So anyway, here's your video for the week. Um, keep an eye out for that chapter and we will see you again soon. Bye.